What's good, y'all? Welcome back to Duran Two Real for TV. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. I want to talk about the spell and the narcissism behind religion. Briefly, when I grew up a Christian in a Christian church. The, the main belief was God and Jesus. <clears throat> Jesus is God's son. And you know the whole Bible and all the scriptures and the stories. You know, he was born by a virgin and the whole nine. Joseph was, I guess, his stepdad. But he belonged to the sky daddy and God. But we were trained, or you're trained in a Christian church to believe in God and claim Jesus as your Lord and Savior, or vice versa, either or. And in doing so, you feel like you are chosen now. You are part of a chosen few. And the other few that don't believe in what you believe in, they are damned to hell, right? Okay, let's talk about Muslims. When I learned about Islam, and I saw it was kind of more on the Arabic side in a way, but I seen it was a mixture of Arabic people and black people that was upholding this, and they all dressed up in their cloths or whatever you call it. And, you know, I love the unity and the brotherhood and sisterhood and the pride <clears throat> behind Islamic people or Muslims, but they have the same mentality as well. If you don't believe in what they believe in, if you don't claim Allah as the all and you don't bow and do the, the rituals that they do, they have the carpet and everything and they, you know, I, I respect it. But if they feel like if you're not into what they're into, then you're lost. You don't, you've lost the way you, you, you have not found God yet, so to speak. I remember when I be, uh, I was actually a Hebrew Israelite at one point in time, you know, my grandma introduced that to me. And I remember um, learning about it, a lot of powerful knowledge and the, you know, there was even a, a person connected to, you know, you know, it was with Yahweh and Yahweh Ben Yahweh. <laughs> and, um, as far as I know right now, he's still locked up, this gentleman who started proclaiming that he was Yahweh Ben Yahweh, God, Jesus, or, or the Son of God sent back down in fleshly form. His name is Yahweh Ben Yahweh. But I mean, I was deep into it, and I started thinking to myself, like, man, these people, they don't know what they, dang, man, they missing out. But I had the same mentality, like, man, they don't believe, they, they don't believe in Yahweh. The shoe, they tripping. They lost. They don't want anyone to hear. They don't want to have an open mind to understand. So, in a nutshell, with all of these religions that's out there, I feel like there's mass confusion because last I heard, <clears throat> God does not exist in confusion. So, we're going to speak on God and this force that has the last say so and has all power will not be involved in this confusion. It's like, why, be, why would it be so many religions believing in so many different gods? Like one could say, oh, it's the same God, but really, why don't everybody follow the same path then? Why, why is it not more unity than it should be? Why isn't everybody on a one accord to where we can all agree to agree rather, rather than always agreeing to disagree? Like, nah, I agree to disagree. Yeah, you stay your ass over there. I'm not rocking with that, but you cool, whatever. That's all we doing. We accept that other people's differences and their different beliefs. But we still got this pride that, oh, no, but what I believe in is the right. You know, that's, I know it all. My God is all. It's confusion. Nobody knows. It's just everybody's posseing up. They're part of a fraternity. They, they choosing whatever fraternity they want. They want Christianity, Islam, Judaism, Buddhism, 
Hebrew Israelite, uh, uh, what you call it, Egyptology. You know, you got all these different black group, conscious groups. We all attaching ourselves to something, but really, why can't we just say, hey, we all are, are the chosen ones. And if we are living our life the right way and we are uh, bringing forth the right messages and are for the greater call, which is justice and, and harmony and truth and peace on this planet, then why should we care about what this belief stuff? Why can't we just care about each other more? That's the problem. Humans are so concerned about everything else going on. That don't have nothing to do with what's going on with us. Ain't that something? We worried about space, trying to get into different planets and stuff. We so here worried about what other people are believing in. We so worried about getting the new Jordans and some the new car, the new jewelry. Nobody's worried about each other, though. Nobody's worried about trying to uplift each other or just make sure everybody's okay mentally. And you would think after the pandemic came, everybody would be more united. Uh, no, nah, short amnesia, real quick, just cognitive dissonance, boy, just, mm, okay, yeah, we back on it, dog, let's hit the club, let's over here, just turn up, what, what are we doing, dog, all these religions and all of these distractions have just been wasting human time, and everybody's just want to compete to be the best, but you, I mean, why not compete to be free, Together, because we the reason why nobody ain't free like that because everybody trying to take from each other or trying to control something from the other. Come on, man, we got to stop being hooked on phonics and, and just figure it out because it's going down a super slopey hill, and y'all are jumping right on the hill, right along with it on the mudslide to y'all's death. Come on now, wake it up. <laughs>